darkness. I believe in a thing called love on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, you're Steve, Steve Merchant, you sure? That's little Carl Pilkington Carl over Pilkington. there. Where is he? There yeah, he is. There he is, yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Um, back then, back together again. The old gang. Yeah, it started last week. Yeah, I think. Triumphant return. I think it went well last week, didn't it, Carl? Good show, wasn't it? You loved it, didn't you, Carl? Brilliant, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, you weren't speaking to Suzanne last week at this time because <laughs> you said she had a haircut, probably quite an expensive haircut. She's a lady in media. She's got to look good. She goes, she probably doesn't go to the barber like you or just shave it at home. Probably spent quite a little bit of money on it. She came home. She thought, well, my, my, my lover. sweetheart, my lover, my <laughs> sweetheart, my, you know what I mean? The man well, in my, my life beau. is gonna, is gonna love this. Well, he adores everything about me. He's gonna love my hair. She walked in. Hello, Carl. All right. You look like Dave Hill from Slade. <laughs> is what you said to the poor woman. And then talked about it on air. She was furious about that. Did so what did you do? Carl? She uh, did listen, yeah. She wasn't happy. And she heard you slagging her hair off? Yeah. She, well, what so this is probably annoying her now. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter. We can do a lot today because she's at work. <laughs> So, and of course, no one's gonna tell her. Let's have a chat about a fat ass, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Straight, hold on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. You oh. are in so much trouble. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's realised he has. He is a little bit worried. Oh, didn't you? Didn't you go and buy her a coat or something? Took, her, took her out on Sunday and treated her to uh, a new coat and that. Yeah. But I offered. I said as well. Coat. I said I'd pay. <laughs> I said I'd pay to have it done again. Oh no! You have- oh god! Oh my Christ! So she listened to the show, what did she say? You got home, she'd heard you slagging her hair off. I imagine- I mean, imagine that. He thinks that's a good thing to- sort of like, we've won the pools. Brilliant. What are we doing? Well, you can have facial surgery now, love. <laughs> it's sort of like- it's just- uh, oh Christ! So you offered to have it done again. Unbelievable. Well, yeah. But, but I, I, so, yeah, I, I got home and, uh, She's like all being moody with me, right? Yeah. You thought and something's uh, wrong, so you must have listened to the show yeah. when I was slagging off her hair. <laughs> well, well you, his first thought was she probably looked at herself in the mirror. She <laughs> with me. Yeah. Yeah, that barber's been round again. Yeah. 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 And um, she just said, "Oh, that wasn't very nice of you, was it?" Oh. So I just said, "Hang on a minute." I said, "That's that's what we do on the show, when I'm slagging off, you know, Chinese people looking old or whatever." I said, "You never interfere." <laughs> sure. <laughs> She's got to get her priorities right. I love the fact that she's in the same queue <laughs> as a billion people you've never met. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that's fantastic. She's in the same queue. Well, they, well, uh, you didn't complain well, no, when I was because Carl, I don't think Carl has ever admitted he might be in the wrong, ever. Certainly not to your eye. So did that you admit- That is so true. Isn't it? That is so true. He's never admitted that he might be in the wrong. So did you, in this instance, agree that maybe you'd overstepped the mark? No, I just said she- she took it badly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's only a haircut. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well. so, Steve, you, you haven't see, seen it, so you can't you can't start interfering on sure. this one. No, okay. No, I haven't seen it, but I well, I, ver I very much doubt she looks like da Dave Hill from Slade, who, if I'm uh, unless I'm mistaken, used to cut his hair with garden shears blindfolded. <laughs> well. Um. So, you know what I mean? And did her teeth stick out when she started speaking with a brummy accent as well? I've got used to it now, anyway. So. And so did you, you bought, so at one point, at some point you came crawling back and you said, do you want me, do you want me to buy you a coat? I just said, let's, let's leave that, let's go out and have a good weekend. Sure. <laughs> but get your hat before we go. Oh God. Treat, treat it to a new coat and that. Oh. It's, sort of, it's a nice coat, so it takes, people will look at that rather than there. Look, looking at the head. So if Is anyone- it, Does it do flash? It's got obscenities across the back. If anyone who knows Carl's girlfriend is listening- Tell her. And um, maybe you're a work colleague and you're listening to the show. Because I think this is terrible. Get her to phone him now. Get her to phone him now. Uh, I mean, get forget her to phone the on the XFM number. What's the, the, what's the, what's the, what's the fat ass uh, complaint line? <laughs> because you are in deep shite. <laughs> Cemetery Gates by the Smiths, of course, off the Queen is Dead. Album. Lovely tune. Great Makes tune. it happy, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's a nice song about dead people. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, um, just wondering what your opinions are, what your thoughts are on. on Britney Spears. Uh, liked a couple. Bit bored. She, mm -hmm. I think she's panicking a little bit. I think she's, 
a little bit desperate with all this Madonna stuff. Yeah, all the kind of lesbian Yeah, so. I don't know, I don't know. Um, you know, um, yeah, she's alright, I've got nothing against the girl. Well, I read, I think it was in Hot Tickets magazine. Sure. Uh, it's free with Evening Standard. Yeah. Um, oh, I might get some free Evening Standards now, I've plugged that. Yeah. Um, I, uh, was just reading in there that, I don't know if it's still gonna happen, but apparently she was gonna do a little cheeky appearance at G-A-Y. G-A-Y? The, in, uh, in London. And, uh, obviously I was quite excited because I'm a Spears fan. Yeah. Sorry, do you know that's what that's about, don't you? G A Y. Yeah. Gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it is a gay club. Oh, sure. This go is on. what I, this is what I was ascertaining from the article. Oh, because they've, yeah, so they've yeah, said yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. said they've called it what sort of what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And um, and it was apparently she was going to she was going to be uh, previewing some of her new album live on stage at G A Y, and that's an intimate venue. Normally, you'd have to see someone like Spears, probably at Wembley Arena, something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm a Spears fan. You know, get up a couple of the gang together. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some of the lads. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah Cruise yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, but then I read on in the article that apparently the doorman at G A Y were only going to let in uh, regulars. And the way they were going to ascertain if you were a regular was by asking a series of questions at the door. What, testing if you're testing really... Now, I don't know if the questions would be about the interior of GAY. Or the interior of <laughs> someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just, just general kind of... Like, you know. what, what, do you reckon you'd have passed the... Uh, pretend well, that's what so I was wondering. So, you'd, wondering so myself, you'd have had to pretend to be... GAY. GAY to get yeah. in to see Spears. Now Can that, you say gay on that, the radio? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, uh... But no, I, that's, that's irony, isn't it? So you're pretending to be gay to get into a club to mm. see a bird that yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little quick test. <laughs> right. Shall I? Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, uh, well, sorry, what's your name, mate? Um, Paolo. All right, Paolo. Yeah. Um, you, right, it, you haven't done a lot with your hair, you just sort of let it, sort of let it grow out. I mean, yeah. would you be putting product on a bit later? Because, I mean, you don't look very, I mean, sort of like, you don't, you look sort of quite... Quite masculine, quite. Yeah, well, sort of like, like you didn't care, like you have no care no, about no, no, how no. you look, like you're a. I no, mean, well, like, normally it would be shaved. Oh, okay. Yes. We would say normally that looks about like three months growth there. Why haven't you? I've been ill. <laughs> Nothing yeah. serious. Nothing serious. Okay. No, that's why I let it grow. So it's grown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what? What time would you normally be going out then? Paolo? Normally I'd go out about sort of. Uh, I'd go out about eight-ish. Eight. Eight o'clock in the evening no, you go? No, 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 no. Because no, that sounds got... a bit early, that's what... No, no I'd go out about three in the morning normally. Right, so I thought it was... Yeah, okay, that's right, right, so right, that's right, that's right, yeah. Where'd you go? Down sort of... Down Old Compton Street for a Compton. coffee and then yeah. on to <laughs> yeah. GAY like with that, your yeah. little shaved... Head. Head. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well you, you, you're doing... You're doing fine. Sounding pretty good. Can I just ask you one final question? 20 I'm, I'm, bender points? Um, it's 20 bender points, so I'm just gonna let you in. Okay, I'm just fine. gonna let, tell the guys to let you in. But, I'll ask you one more question. Yeah. Do you prefer... knobs or tits, <laughs> oh. Paolo? Uh, well, uh, knobs. Knobs, you love knobs, do you? Okay. Can't get enough knobs. So, you, what, you hate tits, I assume? Loads them. Loads you them. hate tits, do you? Yes. Okay. What, even Liza Minnelli's? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I... Yeah, I love hers. But not in a not in a straight not way. In a straight way. In a so okay, okay. So you, you love you love knobs more than tits, right? Than tits. Okay, I okay. Love in you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, you know Britney's on, do you? Oh, she is so sexy. Oh. But see, that's what would give me away. Like, I know. Great escape. It's just just the last. Yeah. You just. Well, you, you're. I, I mean, I think you're probably a bit bi. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. but I mean, go in anyway. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, the drinks are quite expensive. Oh, Pop your shirt off, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Outcast on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. You alright, Carl? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah? Just, um, when you were talking just now about, like, like the gay stuff. Yeah. Right, I don't know if you saw, uh, the thing the other week about the fella who's on that quiz show. Who? Sort of- Oh, right, okay. Gay Who? fella, straight, sort of man, man-woman. What are you talking about? What, what, tell me the, what, 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 what did you see? Tell me what you saw. It's uh, This is like a kid see. come running in, and he's, <laughs> he's seeing something frightening. It might, yeah. could be an alien, could be a ghost, could be a paedophile, <laughs> and you've got to get exactly what actually <laughs> saw out of him. <laughs> right, what did you actually see? It's just this, this fella who's a, who's a woman. Right. Um, <laughs> right, okay, right, try and talk like a human being. Right. It's, it's a quiz show that's coming on the telly. 
and um, it's this this woman. Uh, right, is it a fella who's a woman, or is it a woman? A bit of both, that's why I'm talking about it. <laughs> but what do you mean? Is it a pre-op, is it a transsexual, a transvestite, is, is it a lady boy, it. is it an hermaphrodite, it. what is it? I'll tell you about it. Well, tell, tell me. You. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's a woman, N well, it's a man. <laughs> oh, for f- oh, no, forget listen, it. Listen. Play a record. No, listen. No, come on. What? It's, 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 it, it. is a man. He is a man. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ's sake! It's a TV program where they've got this transvestite man who's a, or a, television. It is a transvestite, yeah. So, but, but the problem is, uh, I'll tell you just because you don't know about it. The program is. I don't know. I still don't know about <laughs> it. I don't know anything about it. Still, I don't know. It's a like, woman, man, man, woman, man, man, woman, TV, TV program, the TV. No, it's a, it's a man who is now sort of half a woman. <laughs> and <laughs> a man who is now half a woman. No, well, this is what's weird about it. He's, <laughs> he's got the top half. <laughs> but not the bottom half. What do you mean? Out. He's got breasts and a wig, but he's still got his his boys downstairs. He's Why got. Do you do that? He's, his caps and the boys what are still there with his wife fronts. Why But upstairs, that? he's got a lovely pair of dumplings. Why do that? Well, he's halfway through. But why not get it all done in one one go? Maybe he couldn't afford it. Well, wait until you've got all the money. That just looks a mess. <laughs> And who's he pleasing there? Uh, <laughs> when he wakes well, up in the morning and pleases himself, he can't believe his luck, he doesn't yeah. know where to start. <laughs> no, but what I don't understand, I mean, you know, I don't want to see him- Well, can I just finish ignorant. that sentence? What you don't understand is just about everything. <laughs> yeah. Right, what- no, what? I find it weird, right, I sort of get- I, I understand the, the gay thing, right? <laughs> but- Do you? What do you mean? Well, you know, I, I know- Well, I know, tell me the gay thing, explain well, the gay I thing. I just know, if you, you're a fella, you like- you like men, I don't know much more than that. What do you mean you don't know? But what I mean is- with a transvestite, what's going on there? What what do they want? A transvestite is is, is a, a a cross dresser. See, I don't I don't get that either. Because you mean a transsexual? That's, somebody, that's a man who likes to dress in women's clothing. It's not necessarily they're not necessarily gay. They're not or gay. They're often anything. not gay. They just happen to like wearing women's Those clothes. clothes right, yeah. but, but then why not wear women's clothes that could be seen as a bloke's like Suzanne wears jeans. No, but they, yeah, just but that's the thing. Jeans. But that's, that's, that's their problem, is it? They, they, they like being seen as a, as a, as a, as a woman. They like being seen as a woman. It's not just that it's more comfortable or they'd wear a kilt. They like being seen as a woman. They feel more comfortable. All right. And what's the deal with this fella who's got- We don't both? know who this fella is. No. We don't know this man who's half a woman. He's called Miriam. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant! I love this scientific basis. No, I'm so all he's done is he's had the tits done. He's probably had the hormones. He's probably lived as a woman for a while. The last step, because you can probably reverse the breasts anyway, because they're they're probably implants and hormonal things. And whereas you, you chop your knob and um, boys off, that's you know you come back the next day and go, sorry, I didn't mean that. I, I wanted my ears pierced. It's a bit more of a bigger operation to put them back. So. Doctors are probably making sure that he's just I'm sure absolutely. Sure, if you've had the top half done, you're not going to go back on what you've said. But no, what's the top half being done? You, 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 I could have, I could get you breast implants, give you a bit of hormonal treatment. Now that and would you could be a great idea for next week. <laughs> and, and you could reverse it. What you can't do is grow a knob back. Well, you can. And last week we were talking about growing one on your arm. Mm, yeah, we've done that. We've come to that. <laughs> so that is possible. <laughs> but the thing is, I, the truth of it is, I think I do know about this story. I think it was a television program called "There's Something About Miriam." The oh. conceit of which was that this pre-op transsexual. So I guess that right, yeah. Um, was masquerading as a woman, right? And various blokes, un who didn't realise that this was a man, <gasps> had to uh, oh, I've heard try about and this. seduce him, her. And when they found out that it was actually a bloke, and they'd, a lot of them had kissed uh, him, agree. her, they uh, they refused to let it be shown. I, and I, I agree. I agree, though. I, I, that's, I, I, that's just terrible. Yeah, that's oh, deceit. But I mean, you know. That's awful. I, 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 yeah, I, I hated that. Yeah. 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 So, so what, um, I think it was a Sky One program. Is there anything other than The Simpsons on Sky One that's worth watching? <laughs> Have you ever tried to watch that? Program? Have you ever seen Kirsty's Home Videos? Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, it's things <laughs> like, it's dogs, dogs on a slide, babies falling over. Do you know, it's uh, only recently reduced from an hour in length. Really? It's been an hour long, and it was just, if you haven't seen it, it's just like camcorder footage, like you know what I like? people falling I, over. I like an old woman at a wedding falling over and showing her bloomers. <laughs> That's, That's my favourite. I like it when it's Kirsty's uh, home videos uncut. So it's kind of four old women, like, naked. With their tits falling windsurfing. out. Windsurfing. Oh, Christ, it, it, imagine it, that. Does it whistle? Well, 
It's just a, it's just, I mean, th have you ever really sat and watched anything on, on Sky One? No. That wasn't- The Simpsons. Or, Star, I think that's, or, or Star Trek. I think that's what I watch on, I, I think that's or pretty wrestling. much what I watch. Wrestling? They have WWF wrestling, cartoons, and just the worst programs. I mean, it's I've seen a bit of the wrestling. It's, it's hilarious. It but is it's hilarious. Like a, it's like a station that's made by a 14 year old boy. Yeah. Well, I think, I think that's probably what it is, isn't it? Yeah. That, I mean, that's exactly the demographic. Do you like Sky One, Carl? I haven't got, I haven't got satellite ever, so. Why can't, why not? I thought you'd have loved that. No, I would love it. I'd oh, Discovery Channel's all about I know, I know, I know. slugs and that and weird stuff like that. I know. Chimps. I was reading there's about a, slugs the other day. There's a thing uh, on one of the channels called Monkey Business. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. Because I was doing that thing, wasn't I, with Richie Bacon. Yeah. Where you watch the telly and that. You're talking riddles. Mm. You actually talk in riddles and yeah. forget a play record. You <laughs> should be the gatekeeper in some kind of Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> fellow quiz game. Uh, uh, right, yeah. Let me enter. Right, yeah, but I was doing that thing with Richard Bacon. What can he mean? <laughs> what what can he mean? mean? He is the wise There's one. There's a man Just who's also a woman. Yeah, yeah. The upper is half it? is, but is the bottom. Yeah. Play a record. Bit of clash. Oh, yeah. Let's Come on. Train in vain. Extra fame. Wonderful. Oh. Nice. Johnny Cash, Hurt, on XFM, 104.9. That's brilliant, isn't it? Good. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. So, what have we done? We've done gays, transvestites. Have we done knobbies yet, or...? It's nice know. that you can talk about pre-op transsexuals nowadays on the radio. I know. You know, without the fear of complaints or... I know. Listeners. Listeners, <laughs> that's the thing. If we had any listeners, we'd get complaints, we really wouldn't would. we? We really would. We'd get some serious complaints if yeah. anyone cared enough. That's to why pick we haven't gone to, a, to a, a decent station with, you know. A big we would audience. never do on a, on a real radio station. We could never do this. No. Could we? Why We'd not? Why not? See, I, I'm not doing this to like mess about and offend anyone. I think it's an interesting topic. What you talking gobbledygook? Not really knowing what. Yeah, earth Carl, earth woman, Carl, for the first five minutes, you couldn't talk. What? <laughs> 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 okay. Li um, although, although, with, you know, the, the, you know, who's the biggest, most professional person in radio? It's probably Terry Wogan, isn't mm. it? And it was you that said you can't tell what the sentence he's saying because no. he keeps going up at the end before. But he and never. After. There's well, never well, any well, punctuation. Well, yeah. So yeah. he'll just segue <laughs> from one point to the next, and he'll be like, "Going on my holidays, Friday. We're having a lovely time," says <laughs> Mrs. Dorothy <laughs> Sheehan of Westminster. I'm thinking of going to Greece. Uh, Oh, and it's so, uh, so he's got his knobs, but he's still got the tits. <laughs> exactly. yeah. yeah, typical, <laughs> typical. Oh, hello, Paolo. Do you want to come then. into my club yeah, to see? I'd love to go. Oh, Britney Spears, Britney Spears. Are a massive fan. Yeah, well, it doesn't start for a while. It's sure. uh, it's only about eight o'clock, and you know you're not going out for hours yet. I no, no, about no, eight no, or seven. No, no, but um, might as well watch a bit of telly. We've got uh, FA Cup final. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Just there, that's a good one, isn't it? Or we've got, um, the Eurovision Song Contest. What do you want to watch, Paolo? Ooh, blimey, blimey. Well, I love all the, um, the camp and lame right. of the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. But I, oh, is that David Beckham playing? Because I love him oh, and his I see hair what you've and done. his legs. See what you've done. You see? So you will watch the football, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you'll be mainly looking at Just the- Just looking at the, the, the legs and the tight, yeah. the tight shorts. So while Beckham's knocking him in, <laughs> you'll be- <laughs> Exactly, knocking <laughs> one, um, <laughs> Right. Let's, uh... Do you know, I just remember, I don't, I mean, I never really looked, but when you see old clips of, say, early 80s footballers, the shorts are much tighter, aren't they? I think, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. really know. I, I don't know. Really do I remember oh. Carl was saying when he went and there was two strippers, a bloke <laughs> and a woman, and they whipped off their clothes at the same time, and you looked straight at the boys' Yeah, everybody pack. would. You would have done. Right. You do do. You do do? You look at his do do? What do you mean? <laughs> you look at his do do? No, what? I'm just saying, if you were there, you would have done the same. Two people on the stage. Yeah. Woman and a man. Yeah. They were getting the clothes off. Yeah. Right? The fella <laughs> took his pants off the same time as the girl took her knickers off. Yeah, right. right. All I'm saying is it's human nature to have a, have a quick look, have a quick glance, see what's going on. <laughs> see what's going on! And then I wanted, I wanted to look at the woman, but she put her knickers back on quick. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't live opposite from you, did she? But just, sorry, just to turn briefly to the shorts question. I, yeah. It's only because... In the 30s and 40s, they were huge shorts, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. I mean, genuinely massive, like- Yeah, uh, huge. A small child could well, wear them as trousers, they were- I so think that's to do with comfort and decency, though, isn't it? And then, but by the sort of 80s, 
There was barely any shorts there. I think that was fashion. But it's weird that it's, uh, you feel like at some point someone's gone, guys, I mean, they're going too today, small. But <laughs> this is ludicrous. But that's, but that's what happened, isn't it? Because, you know, it's things get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. And fashion, it's like, like flares, yeah. drain pipes, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. heels, flat. Yeah. Tall hats, <laughs> flat hats. <laughs> yeah. What do you of the miniskirt? Uh, long hair, skinhead. <laughs> yeah. Miniskirt, uh, again, I don't know, they, I'm, I'm sure there's been, Ten resurgences of miniskirts yeah. since '65, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's fashion. So the short. Uh, you know what? Do you know what I think, Steve? I think the shorts will get smaller again before we die. <laughs> I think we'll see one more tight little packet <laughs> of Premiership footballers running round with their awful squeezed yeah. like uh, like uh, the last chicken in a butcher's window, the almost protruding. wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. Well, imagine if they just wore cling film shorts so you could see what was happening there, Carl. Where would you look then? Because you like football, don't you? We're doing Rockbusters. <laughs> oh, oh, so. Go Busters. on then. Oh. Right, uh, we brought it back. Uh, this is where I give a cryptic clue. Well. And some initials. Yeah. And you work it out and you win some stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna tell you what the prizes are. Needless to say, they're mediocre prizes for a mediocre quiz. Sure, okay, yeah. Oh, well, it's right, DVDs and VHS, and DVDs, yes. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. VHS, who's still got that? Right, so there's three, three of them. And what you can do now, we've tweaked it a bit. Okay. You can text in. Mm-hmm. Right, so you can email or text. We've tweaked it a bit. Mm. Right? <laughs> 83XFM is the text, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is that what it is? 83XFM? That's it. That is good, though, and yeah. it's convenient, because who's got their laptop up and running and exactly. texting? On the so just through your phone. Brilliant. All right. Mine so can do that. I don't know how to do that on my phone. I don't know how to get... What do you my... mean? Huh? What do you mean? My brother wanted my postcode. He said, text it to me. Mm. I couldn't work out how to do... W C and That's one. You're an old man. It's so I had, to, I had to write out double U C one. Oh, for goodness! Sake. I didn't know how to do it. I can't, it, it, just, it won't do it for me. Pathetic. It's ridiculous. Go well, on. Well, it's eighty three nine three six. If if you have that problem, right? Right. Come on, we get on with the quiz. I right, don't know. Three, there's too many numbers. Now. Three uh, three clues. Here we go. First one is uh, this Teletubby has got lice. Right. This Teletubby has got lice. This Teletubby has got lice. Right. The initial there is P, so it's a band or an artist yep. that starts with P, and the clue is this Teletubby has got lice. Right? Yep. Um, second one. <sighs> I'm, I'm really already not holding out much hope I, for this. <laughs> Working out. Go on. Uh, right. Second one. I've just messed that first one up. Thing, <laughs> oh, for Christ! But wh when what? I give it out later, it'll be. We'll, I'll sneak it in without. Right? Just don't repeat anything I say. You're an idiot. Listen, you really are an idiot. No, 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 play, no, play a record. No, play a record. No, play a record. Play a record. You're a fool. Play no, a record. Let, let me just no, 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 press the no. Button, press you've the ruined button. it. It's, you're an idiot. It's off. Ludicrous. Red Vines by Amy Mann. Brilliant, that, isn't it? Very good. On XFM 104.9. Well, um, Carl mucked up Rockbusters, as usual. I mean, it's, uh, you know what, I like it when he mucks it up early, because it doesn't waste people's lives sure. for 40 minutes, really, like he's mucked it up at the end. Yeah. So, obviously, people are already, they, they know what it is, they know what it is already, they've said, well, it's police, isn't it? You meant to say nits instead of lice. Yeah. You're an idiot. So that one's gone. So what, what have you got next? Right, so that's just an idea. If you haven't heard it before, that's that's how my head works. Right, this Teletubby has got nit. So Poe. P, so Poe is a Teletubby. Yeah. Uh, so th so when he says cryptic, it's not only what the what the answer is, it's what the question was meant to be. Sure. So. Alright, so there's only two, so you've got even a better chance of winning than that. Well. So the second one is, I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Alright. Think about it. Easy. Too yeah. easy. J right. J C. Yeah, right. well that's too- that, uh, so everyone's got that one. I feel like saying it now. Yeah, but so don't- that's, don't Well that's rubbish. Yeah, but you've got to have an easy one in there, otherwise people get bored, don't First they? one was easy, we gave them the answer. Yeah, but hang on. <laughs> that's the easiest one we've ever had. Police. And the- and the- th and the second one is- Yeah. Uh, when you're making bread, add a little bit of colour for a change. Alright? When you're making bread, add a little bit of colour, just change things a little bit. What are the initials? Right? D. Just D. Just D. Right? right? So, what you've got there, I'm saving that money to buy condoms, the initials mm -hmm. JC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. Next. And, uh, and when you're making some bread, just chuck some, chuck some 
colour in there. Sure. You know what I mean? Change, yeah. change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, be, uh, yeah, be. like the clue. The clue changes every time. <laughs> yeah. The clue changes every time. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> the Times crossword, the clue changes every time it's set. <laughs> 83 XFM is what it takes it. Or it's Ricky Dr. Bays at xfm.co.uk. Rubbish. Pointless. XFM. David Bowie and Waterloo Sunset. Love that. Love the original. Yeah. Love that one. Love the original. On yeah. XFM 104.9. Good work to David Bowie and the Kinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. Big time. Um. Reading the paper there, yeah, Steve. Yeah, well, I don't normally read the paper. But, no. um, I was having a glance through the Daily Express. Does anyone read the Express? Well, yeah. you do at the moment, look. <laughs> well, true. Live on air. Yeah. Read well, it out and then uh, about 400 people will know what's <laughs> in it. <laughs> I just read, I was obviously attracted, uh, by this little news item. Gun Go raid by three Saddams. Uh, three armed men- Oh, wearing... they're up to their old tricks again, yeah, are they? Yeah. yeah. Three armed men wearing Saddam Hussein masks were on the run last night after robbing a corner shop. The raiders threatened the worker with a handgun and knife, ordering him to open the till, blah, 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 get the money out. And it says that they also tried to rob an earlier shop earlier in the day. Police said, we are linking the raids because the descriptions of the offenders are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what did the first one not quite get yeah, right? Yeah, Well, they looked very similar. <laughs> I right. think it was Gaddafi, three Gaddafis. Right, because that's weird, because we've had three uh, Saddam Hussein's down a oh, shop so down that, the road. Oh, that's what I meant. Is Saddam it the same guys? Cause I well, wanna, I assume so, I wouldn't have thought. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, no, 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 get no, the Gaddafi guys same. on the Saddam Hussein No, I, no, I, I'm, I'm almost sure <laughs> it, it'd be the same way. I didn't know, I, one's got a moustache, haven't they, and one like a devil, or they all got a moustache, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's, there were three blokes with masks. Middle Eastern appearance, I don't know, but I mean, I imagine <laughs> it's the same I am, um, because I've, I've only ever seen, really, um, robberies being planned in films. Sure. So I don't know how it works, I assume that So you say. <laughs> yeah. But I assume at some point someone's got to get together, one of them, the ringleader's got to get together and go, okay, well, we need to wear masks, obviously, just guys our patients. Yeah. I'm thinking of going with the regular stockings. No, no, no. No. <laughs> I'll tell you it would be funny. <laughs> well, I don't want to be funny. Well, no, no. I wanna, we well, no. want to strike fear into the hearts of yeah, people Yeah, but, I mean, kill two birds with one stone, we get the robbery and we have a laugh with it. Fear? Do you say you want to strike fear? Well, wear a mask if someone is really scary. Who's the scariest bloke in the world? Well, I, I don't know, Saddam Hussein? I've got three of them. <laughs> well, what, why? I've got, th I've got three of them. Let's all wear Saddam Hussein. It'd be a laugh. Well, it's not, I don't want it to be a laugh. I'm no, robbing but a bank. Don't hurt if we're having a laugh and that's what I want, I want to make money and have a laugh. <laughs> why? And I'm, that's like, well, I'm yeah. only in the money, I'm only in it for the well, money. Yeah, the but I mean, not important to well, me. well, no, it's- we, Fear, I want to strike fear. We could also make a political point. I don't want to make a political no, point. No, you just want the money. I'm a thug, I'm well, not, well, I'm we not clever. We could have a laugh and we can make a political point. Why not? What political point? We're not- The point where we're, you know, maybe we're sort of stealing from the rich and not like Robin Hood. Never mind Robin Hood, let's rob Barclays. That's what, the... Why are you making jokes? Well, I mean, don't worry, I'm gonna do my stuff. I'm gonna do my stuff. <laughs> you want so... You're a comedian, you don't- I'm not well, sure you should be in this Well, let's just wear the mask. Let's wear the mask. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> did they go and buy them? It's separately, look, look, spread yeah. out. Look, you go to the joke shop in Covent Garden, yeah. I'll go to the one in Southampton Row. Yeah. Brilliant. See, I- cause it's so often the case that they're using masks, it used to be Reagan, Thatcher, they were always a- If I was the guy selling those, like, when three guys came in, three shifty looking blokes to yeah. buy three identical masks- Yeah, in stockings. <laughs> in stockings. Just so <laughs> exactly. they don't know who we are. Sorry, yeah. can I just check, you're not gonna rob- Definitely not. with these masks. But just think of the police looking at those robbers. I, every time they go past one of those awful sort of gift shops, they think <laughs> that- Oh no, it's just a, <laughs> yeah. It's just in the window there with uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, with Michael Jackson <laughs> and uh, Shirley Bassey. Yeah, and George Bush. Oh, Paolo, can I ask you something? I yeah. know you love knobs and that, and you hate tits. Yeah. What about Shirley Bassey's tits? Oh, well, I mean, I'm a fan of them because I'm a fan of Shirley, but I don't like them. You know, cool, you're not sexy. Yeah, you're, you're pretty bent. You are pretty bent. <laughs> pretty Come good. in. Thanks, Br much. Britain is on in seven hours. Excellent. Yeah, what are you doing yeah. out at this time? No, no, no. I just came out to uh, get some uh, nope. milk. <laughs> yeah, get some, uh, get some, some cock in the toilet. <laughs> Carl. Uh, plenty of answers, right. Carl, so far for your. Um, I yeah. say quiz, I'm not sure that's really valid. Yeah, loads coming in. We're giving away some more stuff later as well, with okay. that film thing. That's coming up. Coming up. That's when that. you put yourself into a a, a famous film yeah. and you act out. Is that, is that it? You've yeah. Done, you've done The Graduate, haven't you? Done The Graduate, done Silent of the Lambs, yeah. done uh, Billy Elliot. Uh, <laughs> I liked it, but you're, um, what was your one, uh, a uh, six cents. I <laughs> see weird stuff. Yeah, the six cents was good. <laughs> so well, that's coming up later. We're doing that later. That's we'll look, well. We'll look forward to that. Look forward to we're that. We're all pretty excited about that. Yeah. I'm assuming we've got some great music as well. Uh, still lined up. Thorns. Yeah. Thorns. Oh, I'm obsessed with this now. This is uh, the Thorns, and uh, I can't remember on XFM 104.9. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. 
Strokes, 1251 on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Not done a lot. Maybe you should earn your money as you get to Mondays off for this two hours of nonsense. What are you on about? Done loads of stuff. Go slag, on what? slag Suzanne off. Yeah, brilliant. First link. Yeah. Talks about trannies. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. Same old, same old. Yeah. Let's have something new, something Come fresh. On. Well, I've been looking around, right, on the on the internet for stuff. Yeah. On the internet. Yeah. Your Bible, mm -hmm. where you get all your information about the world and the universe <laughs> and morality from. And you know, like, how I always say to you, I don't really read that much of it, I just read, read the headline. Perfect. Right? Yeah. Anna Nova have sort of nicked that idea to grab you. <laughs> right. so, so, nicked what idea? Well, to sort of get to the meat straight away at the top. Do you know what I mean? The, the headline to the story and everything. What? Right. These are stories- But the headlines already existed. That was why you thought nah, that was a good idea. Not like this though. All right. <laughs> headline. Well, these are all headlines, right? Vibrating shoes could stop elderly falling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know oh, what I mean? Oh, God. You don't My need... racing shoes could stop elderly falling. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> you don't need to read on. That's what I'm saying. Well, right? could so you read on anyway? I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> read on I mean? anyway. Well, read... you have a look at that in a bit, right? Oh, so oh, okay. so what this is frustrating right. radio if you're sitting at home. No, well, you, you, it's not on. They've turned it off. If yeah. you want to know more, you know where to go. That's what I'm saying. That's what they should do in the news. <laughs> Get the news done in, Bong. in, in a minute. There's a good story about Iraq. <laughs> right. Bong. Right. Right. Look it up. Give Look it up on the internet. Right. And an over. Give us another bong. Bong. Family sick of living on Butthole Road. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, brilliant. oh, brilliant. Bong. Man wears same shoes for 60 years. <laughs> Oh, bong! This isn't that good. Uh, some fella pulls a train with his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in lighter news. I know that! Triple Donald, this one isn't very good. And, oh. uh, the last one, man fails to break clothes pegs on face record. <laughs> She's always good. Well, that's, that's the one I did read on about. <laughs> I love like that out of all those, that's the one he read on about. Go on then. Just, um... Why is that news? He fails to make a record. Mm. So did I today. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I failed the long jump record today. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even take part. No! I was rubbish. But what are the rules on- on world records and that? I don't- I don't know if there are rules. There are certain things you can't- I mean, it's- it's the Guinness Book of Records, isn't it, really, that's the arbiter, isn't it? Yeah, but is there anything, if you said you wanted to do it, would they say, well, you can't do that? Yeah, they've- they've stopped some gluttony records, obviously things that are in danger, th it's anything that's illegal. Yeah, anything that's immoral. Yeah, like that, that American serial killer that just got discovered yeah. having killed 47 women. I don't think he can make that into the Guinness Book of Records. No, because people would be trying to beat it, won't they? <laughs> but there was some, some other story about a fella eating watches and that. That can't be good for you. So why don't they say, look, don't do that, do something else. He wanted to stay regular. <laughs> do you know what, what do you mean? mean? I just, I just wondered what if What do you mean he was eating watches? He just said he was eating watches. He, he got, he yeah, about three in about a minute. How did he- how did he time it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? And then, the other thing is, the one- the one that I was reading the world record with the fellow who's pulling a train with his mm. teeth. Mm. Does- does that make any difference that he's done it with his teeth? What do you mean? Well, what difference does it make? Well, isn't it- it's quite hard to pull a train with your teeth, I imagine. Well, it's pretty hard to pull a train. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is it- is it because he couldn't beat the fella who's pulling it with his hands? Well, that's so the, this is it. my point. There's the, I think there was uh, one bloke with a record for the backwards- running backwards hundred metres was sort of like eleven and a half seconds. And I was thinking, turn around, you'd probably- you'd probably have a really good go at that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of like doing a marathon with a milk bottle on your head. Take the milk <laughs> bottle off and see how fast you can go, you twat. <laughs> but you can just tweak it, like the fella who has done the pegs on the face, right? Yeah. Um, his name's Gary Stretch Turner. Right. Right. So, he's sort of cheating already if he's- if he's got a stretchy head. Right? <laughs> but, but- You are, right, <laughs> you are one of the most stupid humans I have ever met. Well, get me in the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, listen. So, Gary- Gary Stretch Turner, right, his record is 153 pegs. Yeah. He did it again, and he only got 150 on. <laughs> so he hasn't broke his own record. Right. But what I'm saying is, if he tweaked it a bit more, would that make a new record? What? 
Well, if, if he said, I've got 150 pegs on, but at the same time as eating a burger. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. He'd be the, or, or the it, world or record breaker for pegs and eating burgers at the same time. Yeah, just change it a bit. If you know <laughs> you're not gonna make it, just do something else. I'm assuming the rules are set at the beginning, Carl. That's yeah. it. That's where they say, right, you're just gonna do the pegs thing. You're not gonna introduce burgers halfway through, are you? Definitely not. <laughs> and okay. then they have a go. I was on one leg, not interested. How many pegs? 150. Can I just ask very briefly, I was quite interested by the family had to move because <laughs> they lived on Butthole Road. Yeah, I quite like that now, one. I, I don't know if I've told you before, Rick, where I used to live. I'm not going to tell you the name of the street that I used to live on, because not on air, because my parents still live there and I don't want right. you know. But I'm going to write it for you now. This is the name, the genuine name of the street I used to live on. Just imagine when you're at school. Yeah. And oh. like in class, for instance, in French, you've got to say, they got, you've got to answer where you live. Yeah. J'habite, wherever. Yeah. That's the name. This is actually the name of the street we lived on. No, it's not. I swear to God. <laughs> that is... I'm absolutely right. I could phone my father now and he could confirm that for well, you. Well, no, I swear because he doesn't want to... To God. And I tell you that... What, but listen, do you know what worries me? It's the apostrophe S. I know. Because that's blatant. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? That is incredible. But imagine how embarrassing So that if was. I look that up in the Bristol... You will find that in the Bristol A to Z. I swear that to God. That is really... Why have you never told me that before? I can't believe I haven't. That's I'm incredible. still embarrassed now. Do you know if whenever I have to phone up, if I have to give that address, I always spell it instantly. Really? Like somehow that will hide it. That'll disguise the name. But it's interesting. My friend Rufus, his parents lived in a place called Fockingham. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is amazing. When he was growing up, they, li he lived, they lived in Fockingham. Yeah. They moved to a village called Fingeringhoe. No. I swear to God. Really? Amazing. Oh well, God! Perhaps you come from an amusing town or street. Hello, well, mate. Fi fingering her or fucking them? Well, that's my business. <laughs> exactly. Well, this this family who's sick of living on uh, Butthole Road, <laughs> right? Said the thing that pushed them over the edge was the sign was outside their house, and tourists were always coming, sort of having the picture taken with the pants down <laughs> next to the sign. Sure. Oh yeah, no! That's, that's the thing that. What's it called? Butthole Road. Butthole Road, yeah. Well, that's bad luck, isn't it? That is bad luck, isn't it? Who named it that, though? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but it's not as if they've named it that after they've moved there. They bought the house knowing, oh, there's a lovely house here, so where, where you live, what road it's on? Well, They're not gonna go, well, it doesn't matter, look at the house. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Well, where, where am I going? Where am I seeing this Well, house? I'll take you there, I'll take you there. I'll take you there. Well, so, you don't need to look, just don't, don't look at that sign, just come into that lovely house, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. Well, my family wants to come later to have a well, look at it. Well, just tell them to, I'll meet them, I'll meet them by the bus stop and I'll drive them here. <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need to know where you're going. You just, you just sort of know, won't you? You'll know from then on. How will we get letters? I've delivered to me if you want. I'll, I'll bring them, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bring them round. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's incredible. But I can't get over that, where Steve used to live. That's extraordinary, isn't it? Anyway, if you perhaps live in Tits Avenue. Yeah. You know, or, um, Wanklin Drive. Wanklin <laughs> Drive, just get in touch. Let yeah. us know. We're not really interested. But it no. might fill up five minutes. Let's play a record. Let's come back with another of Carl's amazing quizzes. I'm going to Spunkton later. <laughs> <laughs> If I was your girlfriend by Prince on XFM 104.9. Yeah. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, yeah. Carl Hilkington. Big time. We've had quite a few, uh, calls. Greg used to live in a place in South Africa called Arsagay. Arsagay? Arsagay. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Paul's, uh, friend's parents live in Fart Town, just outside Leeds. <laughs> Fart Town. Which is nice, isn't it? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And, uh, Dean, uh, used to live in Butts Farm. Hamworth. Butts Farm. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, obviously. I, I assume they're free range, but sure. they're not sort yeah. of battery farm butts. That would yeah, be horrible. But, uh, yeah. Do you think that? That would be great to just name a town, wouldn't I it? I think if I, yeah, I was thinking if I was a, like a multi billionaire, a Bill Gates type figure, I'd yeah. like to buy somewhere, like, say, Manchester, and just rename it. Whing rename, whinging on the wall. Whinging on the wall, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and. Make them work, work, work Mondays. Exactly. They'd be obliged to, to that would have to be what it's called. Yeah. It's the rules. It'd be like mayor. Yeah. It'd oh, great. it'd be great as mayor, wouldn't it? You, well, you want to be mayor of Chinatown, don't you? I'd like to be mayor of Chinatown. It seems to me that there's not a great deal to do. No. Because it's not really a town. No, exactly. But, I've, it's just but a novelty who can we talk street. to about that? Who can go and say that, that you've got to stop calling this a town? Because at best it's a novelty street well, with, I... some, with some slippy pavements yeah. near restaurants. I, uh, I actually got stopped the other day by two tourists who said, do you know the way to Chinatown? And I really wanted to say to them, it's a disappointment. It's not a town. <laughs> Seriously, it's not worth it. Pop in, pop in a record shop. Do something else. Yeah. Popping Garfunkels. <laughs> 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 a 
have some delicious sausage and mash. But you'll get to Chinatown and you'll go, this is not a town. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have, you, uh, have you got a town hall? Mm, got a not betting really. shop? <laughs> yeah. Not really a town. I don't think you can build a town entirely out of restaurants. <laughs> 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 That's not enough. You need more stuff. Oh, dear. A uh, lot of old people I've noticed there, Carl. Aren't there? Let's leave that, eh? What? We'll leave it. Leave what? the old- Leave uh, what? Just got to John. Who's oh. just emailed and he said my secondary school was, my secondary school was on a street simply called Ben End. <laughs> that's Ben End, really? Yep. Oh, that's, that's great. great. Um, there's uh, a road in Cricklewood somewhere called Clitterhouse Drive. <laughs> Clitterhouse? Yeah, I don't think you can really get that. You can't get them on that, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, no, that guy's just having a laugh, just taking the mick, get a lot of that sort of thing. There's a place in America, apparently. Ben's emailed this in. There's a place in America called, uh, My Anus. My Anus? Yeah. I think I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. My Anus, yes, I have heard of that. That's, that's, that's unlucky. Oh, uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. Where do you live, My <laughs> Where do you live, My Anus? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got a letter for you. Where should I... <laughs> Where should I send, send this <laughs> All right, don't get cheeky. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just rather than reading out the A to Z, right? Mm -hmm. Are we doing Rockbusters on Sunday? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Come on then. Right, Listen, this is this is built. This has got Chris Moyles, the Breakfast Show on Radio One. <laughs> this yeah. sort of stuff. Well, listen, Go on. Uh, have, we, have we got a winner, Steve? Did we you have. Know? I'll check that in a minute. Oh, I yeah. Can't right, you, you find a find a good winner. Yeah. yeah. The Rockbusters clues. The first one was this Teletubby has got no. mitts. Well, we know no, 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 We've no, done no, that. That yeah. was Paul Ice. Yeah. 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 Right. Rubbish. You ruined it. All right. The second one. I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Too easy, Johnny Cash. That was Johnny yeah. Cash. Rubbish. And the third one was w when you're making bread, add a bit of colour for a change and sort of, you know, change the colour of it. Right. Right. That was dye dough. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. <laughs> Give us a winner. Well, this is, uh, the reason I've given this person the prizes is just because she's from Switzerland. Sure. She's listening in Geneva, in Switzerland. So I mean, good luck to Tina, and she wins those prizes. Who did she want to win the war? Don't know. I don't think she had an opinion. Really? You sure? Yeah. They I say that, but I, I reckon, I reckon they wanted us to win. Really? I, think so. I reckon so. Do you think that was true of all the wars? They were always on our side, really. I'd get her to, uh, I'd get her to just if she's still there. Who did most Swiss people? Maybe sort of like over fifty want to win the war? The England Swiss or Germany? War or the original war? The Second World War. The best war. Yeah, the, the, main, one. the main, the main one. one. But yeah. uh, so just, just, uh, just as a poll, in her opinion. Uh, so, so ask people over sort of like 50 or 60, right, just quickly do it in the next 10 minutes. Who did they really, are they neutral, but who did they really want to win? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> England, yeah, we know you're or, neutral, but yeah, it's but 50 who do England later. or Germany. We come up with great games, don't we? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Bad day, an REM on XFM. 104.9. It's Carl's Quiz. Mm -hmm. It's a classic film. He's done some jiggery pokery. He's in the film. It's his favourite film of all time. I thought The Elephant Man was your favourite film of all time. It's up there, but but this is like this. This film's got everything. It's got hilarious bits in it. It's got sad bits in it. I've got the headphones on because I've got to hear it, and I don't usually wear headphones. But um. I just realised how noisy I am. Does that go out when I'm sort of does. Right? does it really? Yes. So when I'm sort of like tapping and writing and that, cause you can, because it's really clear. Everyone mm. can hear that. Really? Yeah. The thing about that microphone, Rick, is it doesn't just pick up your voice. <laughs> it picks up all the things. <laughs> oh, that must be. Are you scratching now? <laughs> it's, it's, you, it's, I don't I know. know what it is. You've that got there, some be... kind of rash. Well, look, look, it's eczema. I think. Look, what's that? Oh, eczema, yeah. oh god, what's that one then? That's oh. just one of your enormous oh, that... fat. Tits. What's that? Um. But yeah, that must be irritating to listen mm, to it. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. If your voice weren't bad enough. <laughs> yeah, I've got- and moving the mic, Moving I the mic then, that yeah. makes the noise. Lena. Eating sandwiches, <laughs> drinking coffee. Yeah. Right, come on then, Carl. Right, so the film is Kez. You gotta listen to it properly, at the end there'll be a question about what's happened in there, yeah. so you gotta listen to it all I in. love the fact that in um, pole position in- in positions one and two of his favourite films of all time, it's The Elephant Man and Cares. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Go on. All right. Am I leaving the mics open a bit when this is going out? Yeah, or what? yeah let's have a listen. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. So don't talk then, right? Just put that hot dog down, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the bit in Kez where yeah. it's the teacher and, and, and he gets up and he has to Glover. Talk. What's his name? Is it Brian Glover? No, no. No. No, it's What's the other what? teacher. The other one. Anyway. Right. Go on. All right. So, here we go. Things that had actually happened. Oh, yeah. 
What about you, Casper? Casper! Alright. Alright? Alright. You haven't been listening to a word I've said, have you? Yeah, I've, I heard, uh, I heard some of it. Yeah, you've... Some of it? Just... Stand up! Always somebody, isn't it, eh? Right, now you're going to tell us a story about yourself. What sort of story? I want you to think of an incident that's happened to you sometime in the past that is true and that you think will interest the rest of the class. All right? All right. Uh, uh, what about... Uh, I, work, I work on a um, on a radio show at the weekend. Well, are you going to tell us about it? I'll just, um, just do... It's two hours... And it's it's with Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, and uh, just sort of play music and you know tell stories and stuff. What kind of stories? Well, whatever. Like last week, it was science. We we're talking about uh, this lad who was growing uh, a, a knob on his arm. So <laughs> it's weird. But it's tricky, sir, because like with Ricky, he he gets bored quick and. He won't listen to the stories, and he'll start squeezing the head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not interested in what he does. Well, that isn't that isn't normal, is it, sir? That I mean, it sure is a bit gay. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Just messes about, though. Do you know what I mean? I try and like come up with good stuff, like monkey news and like quizzes and stuff, but. Then he'll just, you know, Ricky will just mess about. I mean, on, on Saturday he did it again, he, he, he squoze me head. How do you spell that? Squoze. S Q. I'm going to show another one. The new word to me. Squoze is S Q U O Z E. Alright, now tell us what it is. It's when, um, it's when he, he gets me head. And he puts one hand on the back of it, right? And he puts the other hand on the front of it, and he just sort of swivels it. Swivel, right down the back. Oh, swivel's not a... It's spelled S-W-I-D, like that. How many times a day? How many times a day does, does he swivels it? It depends what time he, you know, what time he gets in. If he gets in about half past twelve, he could get a good three in. But, but I think, you know, I don't, I don't really want to talk about... Well enough, don't you? Well done, Billy. Bring out the report. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, the effort. Yeah. Uh, wow. That that's uh, that's the best thing you've ever done, Carl. So that's that's Kez, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Got some good prizes there. Not bad. Yeah. Good stuff. Question is, how many times did I say Ricky can get how many how many head squeezes <laughs> can he get in before the start of the show? All right. So if you were listening properly. <laughs> The answers in there, right? right? And win some, got some good stuff got there. Some DVDs, DVDs in there, and some uh, CDs, including some Jimi Hendrix stuff and uh, other odds and ends. Good stuff. Brilliant. Right. And just text in uh, 83 XFM. Right? Right. 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 Eddie and the Hot Rods. Do anything you want to do on XFM 104.9. All right? Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right. Well, we've had loads of entries for the how many times did I squoze his head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, the answer was three, wasn't it? Yeah. And who's the winner, Steve? Let's give it to John. He's emailed in, he's got it right. He said he squoze your head three times on sure. average. It's not squoze, is it, Carl? That's incorrect. It's squoze, isn't it? Uh, it depends how you say it. Go uh, on. Squoze. Well, it doesn't really, because it's nonsense anyway, it's not a real word, but... You squoze my head, yeah. I will squeeze your head. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Depends yeah. what, what line you're getting it in. Sure. Tense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Any monkey news? Any educating Ricky? Anything else? Um, I don't feel that you've earned Monday off yet, because it's just two hours and you only did, did about five minutes of yeah. it. Yeah, but that, that took a bit of time to make. That's your own right. fault. Um, yeah, but I bet you didn't do it Monday. I bet you did it on another day. I had to come in Monday, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't but, I bet, but I bet you'll do that on another day, so you're taking the piss even more, so you're doing it when you should be doing other stuff. Right. You've still got Monday off and mm. you've got two hours here. So, you're laughing either way. So don't give me that. So, do you know what I mean? What else you got? Monkey news. Yeah. Well, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Well, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have right. some monkey news. Let's do some monkey news. You made enough noise there, really? You wanna... Sorry, but it's, it, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh! 
Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news, you f- Right. Um, I haven't read this through properly, so- Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just- Oh, God. That. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? basically, right, it's- it's, um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, innit, now, chat rooms. You get on there, you can Right, if chat. you say someone was having a, a <laughs> meeting with someone, Please they wanted to meet- Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, but, it. Right, there is no- there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate matter, and does, understand. Right, it doesn't matter, do you not know the story? <laughs> You and said, that, you said that Did they get mad? It was three months later, she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want a divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me. Bobo. <laughs> you, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they're, if they're given the time. No! That's let's not it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare It's a philosophical monkeys. conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the- it's about- uh, yeah, yeah. Infinity. Right, so this one, this one then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and- Who's that, Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were- they were looking over it, trying to look for- for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like, really strange things, like, instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar? Right, it'd be like- Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet? Right, okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later, Seriously, mate. That's gone. I'm just gonna listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's online. Let's, let's well, hear the rest uh, of it. How- you, you are- you're nearly- you're, you're ill. You're nearly- you're, you, okay, right. well, I don't know the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. <laughs> um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something's sexy, they'd say, make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute. Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now? Because you can't find it anymore. And instead of saying, "Should we get married?" They're saying, "How swollen and red is your ass?" <laughs> Do you yes, stupid fool. Do you no, know that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Ronson and Ooh Wee on XFM. Well, what a great show. Mm -hmm. We've had informative. Well, it's been fun. Uh, yeah, we've learned some, haven't we? Yep. What have we learned? All well, sorts well, of stuff. well, we've learned the car is an idiot. Yes. That he believes that monkeys can get on. That's more of a confirmation of. It really, yeah, suspected. yeah. We, we always suspect it, but that's that. I just read a little email um, from someone who just said that in, t in Northern Ireland there is a town called Muff. Is there? Yeah, it's worth knowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else do we learn? Uh, monkey news. Uh, um, no one's got anything like monkey no. news on radio. No. Have they? <laughs> Think of that as a boast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No one has got anything like this gout. Yeah. You, you call that a boil? <laughs> look at that is. and look where it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brilliant. We've okay. not uh, heard sadly back from that woman, um, from Switzerland. Haven't we? I know you threw out a question. Yeah, I just- I just thought I wanted to find out whether the, who the Swiss really- well, I say they're neutral, but I- I would assume they'd be rooting for us and keeping quiet. You'd hope so. Whenever Germans went through, I went, oh yeah, right, yeah, whoever wins, yeah, but they're going, oh. <laughs> exactly. Whereas with us, they go, alright lads, alright lads, do you want some chocolate? Yeah. Cook, here's a cooker cock. No, don't let it go off, I'm hiding. Yeah. Know yeah. what I mean? Sure, sure, But, sure. uh, they better- they better want of, uh, us to win, cos it wasn't for us, and we'd have let fascism go in there and uh, they'd be speaking- Bloody German and Italian all over the place, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I think they do. Huh? I think they do. What? They do speak German and Italian. Why? Why? I don't know. They just couldn't be bothered to come up with their own language and they chose that one, I suppose. Or they chose those. What's the point of being foreign if you don't speak English? I've no idea. I, you'd have to ask them. That's mental. I don't know. What would I do if I went there? You, well, you wouldn't. Why would you go? They don't speak the language. If you're gonna have to choose a language to speak, choose English. English. Even the Dutch, they got their own language, but they don't speak they it because it, sound, well, it sounds silly. Yeah. So they speak English. Of course they do. You see, do Dutch people yeah. so in Amsterdam um, with clogs on? They'd be they'd be chatting, chatting in away. English. In English, yeah. I'm proud of it. Yeah. Oh God, there was a. I was there once, and there was a. There was a mouse. Right. <laughs> just there on the stair. <laughs> right. it, a, it was a little mouse with clogs on. Yeah. Where? Yeah. On there. <laughs> on, on the stair. stair yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's languages. We learned about languages, didn't we? I'm not a linguist, but I pretty much think. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Tell you something I learned in the week. Go on. Yeah. This will um, be one thing. That, it, it did definitely learn only one thing this week. It's a good yeah. one though. Don't insult Suzanne's hair. I learned two things. Go right, on. This week. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Don't put your trousers on over your head. Because <laughs> I know you're persevering yeah. with that for a while. Mercury may look nice, but bad for you. <laughs> Go on. Um. There are more moves on a chessboard than particles in the universe. That puts you off learning it, doesn't it? Well, no, it's a possibility. No, no, they it's said it is. It is. It said that that's 
Yes, that's right. It's the possibility because it's it's basically that it turns towards infinity because no two games are the same. So it's not that you've got to learn that many moves. Uh, it's not like I don't wish to criticise Rick because I know you were trying to inform him. Then it's a good job you're not a teacher because as you gabbled the phrase, it tends towards infinity. Yeah, it kind of came out as. <laughs> okay, yeah. Imagine if you're cause imagine if you're one of those kind of foreign <laughs> students who's gone here to study and they you know sometimes they put what, the tape re- they put the tape recorder by the uh, yeah. by the lecturer. Yeah, listen back to that. <laughs> it, it's something towards infinity. I'm not sure. <laughs> Tense towards infinity? <laughs> it is talking about tense. <laughs> yeah. I not understand. Cuckoo. So, uh, yeah, we've all- We've, we've all had a good like, time. We've all had a good few We've lives. had a great time. Can I just say to everyone, have a great Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you, you later. Like, you, like, you like the thorns, you played the thorns. Love the thorns I think you'll enjoy thorns. this. It's an old track from Hawksley Workman. Brilliant. Bad name, good song. See you next week. Mm.